Let us look at this question, <coughs> which is to solve a trig equation uh, for sine x is equal to 0 0.5, and we want to find the answer in radians <coughs> between 0 to 2 pi. Now, this I uh, will. The way I do is, I like to think in degrees. So first, I'll work. This is equivalent. And this is same as saying x is less than or equal to 360 degree. Uh, uh, greater than or equal to 0 and 360, <coughs> or x is between 0 and 360, including 0 and 360. So this is a sine curve. So first, it's always good. You can do it in different ways, uh, but uh, if you know how to draw a sine curve, this is helpful. So what I'm going to do is treat this as a simple equation. So if I divide this side by 4, I divide this side by 4. So sine x is 0.5 divided by 4. So half of 0.5 is 0.25. So this is 0.125. So first I'll explain it graphically and then I will uh, do it uh, on graphic calculator. So the question is, when is your sine x, so this is a graph of y is equal to sine x, becoming 0 0.125. So this is my 0, this is 1, and this is negative 1. As you know, sine has an amplitude of 1 sine of x has we are not looking at 4 sine x 4 sine x has an amplitude amplitude of 4 but we are looking at sine of x <coughs> sine of x has an amplitude of 1 the maximum is 1 minimum is minus 1 and this is your so this is your maximum this is your minimum and this is your baseline so <coughs> The question is, when is your sine x becoming 0 0.125? So making a rough estimate, 0 0.125 probably comes here. Okay, so this is your 0 0.125. So for which value of x is, uh, for which value of x is your sine x becoming 0 0.125? In other words, when y is 0 0.125, what's the value of x? That's the question. So let me show you. So basically, this is one angle, one answer, uh, and this is the other answer. You've got two answers here. Okay, so this is, I, w I, I would like you to, as I like you to think in a graphical way. Here, if you look at it in a graphical way, say so this is your x1 and this is your x2. Now this distance, this distance is equal to this distance. It doesn't look because we are not an exact figure. So the distance between 0 to x1 is the same as the distance between 180 and x2. Okay. So whatever x1 you get, that is uh, by finding the sine inverse of 0 0.125. So the next thing is you're finding sine inverse of both sides. So x uh, reference angle, this is called uh, principal angle or reference angle is sine inverse of. So the calculator will give me your first angle, which is your x1. Okay, so x, so let me use a calculator. This is my calculator. Go to run and always check your setting. It should be in degrees. We're working in degrees. So this is degrees. And you press shift sign of. 0.125 okay which is 7.2 degrees okay rounding into 1 dp so this is your reference angle is 7.2 degrees your reference angle is same as x1 because that's in the first quadrant your reference angle is always in the first quadrant so when i say first quadrant this is the first quadrant up to 90 between, to, between 90 and 180, you've got the second quadrant. Between 180 and 270, the third. And finally, between 270 and 360, the fourth quadrant. So I can say x1 is 7.2 degrees. Okay. And x2, or the second angle, is 7.2 away to the left of 180. That is nothing but 180 minus 7.2 degrees. So let me use a calculator, 180 minus 7.2 it is 172.8 so the other angle is 
172.8. So let's check this on a calculator. Graphic calculator. You should have a graphic calculator. So you type in sine of x or sine x, and your it should be a trig scale. I'll go from 0 to 360. 360. And this is your sine curve. Can you see? Can you see? At 90 is your maximum. My question is, or our question is, what's your, what's the x value for the given value of y? So x calc when y is 0 0.125. So this is your 7.2 degrees. Okay. This is 7.2 degrees away from 0. So the other angle would be here, which is 7.2 degrees to the left of 180, which is 172.8. See you in the next video.